Good day everyone, this is Teacher Cherry. In this video, we will learn about proving theorems on rhombus. We will prove theorems on rhombus. Rhombus is another kind of parallelogram. Let's have a recall first about rhombus. Ang rhombus is a parallelogram whose sides are all congruent. Let us have the theorems on rhombus. Tulad sa rectangle, meron din tayong dalawang theorem sa rhombus. So, first theorem natin on rhombus or yung theorem 3, the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. And then, the next theorem, theorem 4, each diagonal of a rhombus bisects opposite angles. So, tulad sa rectangle, ipuprove din natin itong dalawang theorems ng rhombus. Let us now proceed on proving theorems on rhombus. Our first theorem is the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. Let us have our example for this theorem. The given is rhombus ROSE or rhombus rows. We will prove that line segment RS is perpendicular to line segment OE. So, ito yung ginagamit nating symbol for perpendicular. This is our figure. So, meron tayong rhombus ROSE. Gagamit tayo ng two-column proof para may prove natin na ang line segment RS is perpendicular to line segment OE. For the first column, ilalagay natin dito yung mga statements. Sa second column naman yung ating reasons. For statement number one, rhombus rows. So, ito ay galing dito sa ating given. Ang reason is given. And then, for our statement number 2, titignan natin ngayon dito sa ating rhombus kung ano ang mga congruent. So, we have OS is congruent to RO. Okay, ang reason natin is definition of rhombus. Ang sabi natin kanina, ang rhombus ay Merong four congruent sides. So, kinuha lang natin yung dalawang congruent sides. For our statement number three, ang line segment RS and EO, line segment EO, bisect each other. And, meron tayong midpoint na H. H is the midpoint of RS. Ang reason natin, ay property ng parallelogram, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. And then, for our next statement, since ang H natin is the midpoint, masasabi natin na ang line segment RH is congruent to line segment HS. Our reason is the definition of midpoint. And then, since H is midpoint pa rin, we can say that line segment OH is congruent to line segment OH. Ang reason is reflexive property. For our number 6, so meron na tayo ditong two congruent triangles. Ano kayo yung two congruent triangles natin? Here is the first one and the Another one. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, meron tayo ditong mga markings. So, side, side, side. They are congruent by SSS congruence postulate. So, yun yung ilalagay nating reason. Sa so, statement, yung dalawang triangles na congruent ay triangle RHO is congruent to triangle SHO by SSS congruence postulate. So, yun na ba yung final answer? Hindi pa. Ang pinuprove natin is 
line segment RS is congruent to line segment OE. Ito si line segment RS, ipuprove natin na siya ay perpendicular sa line segment OE. So, what will be our next statement? Alam natin na itong dalawang triangles na to ay congruent. Therefore, ang angle RHO at saka angle SHO, itong dalawang angles na to ay congruent dahil corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruence or CPCTC. Next, since ang angle RHO and angle SHO ay congruent, they are equal, therefore, ang angle RHO and angle SHO are right angles. Bakit kaya right angles? Because angle RHO and SHO form a linear pair and are congruent. Ang sum ng kanilang angles ay 180 degrees. And then, for our number 9 statement, Masasabi natin ngayon na ang line segment RS is perpendicular to line segment OE. Our reason is perpendicular lines meet to form right angles. So, since yung ating dalawang angles dito ay 90 degrees or right angles, sila ay perpendicular to each other. So, na-prove natin itong theorem 3. Let us now proceed to another theorem on rhombus. Our next theorem on rhombus is each diagonal of a rhombus bisects opposite angles. To prove, we will have an example. Our given is rhombus VWXY. We will prove that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 and angle 3 is congruent to angle 4. We have rhombus VWXY. To prove, gagamit ulit ng 2 column. For our proof. statement 1, so kukunin natin itong given na rhombus VWXY. Our reason is that is given. For statement number 2, tingnan natin itong ating figure. Alamin natin kung ano yung mga congruent. Ang congruent natin is line segment YV is congruent to line segment VW. Then, line segment WX is congruent to line segment XY. Because that is the definition of rhombus na all sides of a rhombus are congruent. For our third statement, kukunin natin itong isang diagonal ng ating rhombus. That is, line segment WY. It is congruent to line segment YW by reflexive property. And then, masasabi natin na ang dalawang triangles are congruent Dahil sa side, side, side congruence postulate. Ano yung dalawang triangles na yon? The first one is this triangle and another triangle. Ano yung dalawang triangle na yon? Triangle YVW is congruent to triangle WXY by side, side, side congruence postulate. Since congruent yung ating dalawang triangles, we can now say that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 at saka angle 3 is congruent to angle 4. What is the reason? By CPCTC or corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Ayan, na-prove na natin yung dalawang theorems on rhombus. Let us now proceed to square. 
A square is a parallelogram with four congruent sides and four right angles. So, ito yung definition ng both rectangle and rhombus. Ang definition na to can also be stated as a square is a quadrilateral that is also a rectangle and a rhombus. Kapag sinabing square, pareha siyang rectangle at rhombus. Or, a square is a rhombus with four right angles. Rhombus na merong apat na 90 degrees. Or, we have a square is a rhombus with two adjacent sides perpendicular. Or, a square is a rectangle with four congruent sides. So, yun yung mga ibang definition ng square. Since na-prove na natin yung properties pertaining sa rectangle at thrombus, hindi na natin ipuprove pa yung para sa square. No further proofs will be prepared for the square. Okay, that's the end of our tutorial. Before I end this video, I would like to say a simple quotation. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. That is from Confucius. Thank you so much. Keep safe and have a great day.